Welcome back. Now for your five-day weather forecast, we go outside to Bernard. And Friday is finally here. Bring more rain with it, which will move into Saturday. But make those outdoor plans for Sunday, which will bring some sunny relief. Now, here's your five-day weather forecast. We'll be experiencing showers today, which will be a high of 18 degrees, dropping to an overnight low of 11 degrees. The showers will con continue into Saturday, which will feel cooler with a low of 9 degrees and a high of 11 degrees. Sunday, you can finally carry out any outdoor activities, but it will be partly cloudy with a high of 14 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. The good weather will move into Monday, which will be a high of 13 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Tuesday will be even warmer with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. And that's all for your weather forecast. Have a great weekend. Now back to the newsroom. Thanks, Bernard. Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi has won a confidence vote in Parliament. The Conservative government won the vote by a narrow 316 to 301 votes. The confidence vote was prompted when the Parliament's lower house narrowly failed to approve a budgetary measure. After two decades in power, Berlusconi's popularity is in the tank for his management of the economy and various sex scandals. His political rivals, labor unions, and some members of the business community have been pushing for his resignation. The United Nations is calling for action in Syria as attempts to end President Bashar Assad's regime become increasingly fatal. The UN says over 3,000 civilians have died in the past seven months and more, have dis and more have disappeared or even been arrested. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights says the crackdown on protesters may get worse before it gets better. Pilot error may have been the cause of the terrible plane crash that killed 44 passengers, including the locomotive ice hockey team. This comes after a pilot who helped investigate the crash said all of the plane's systems are functioning normally. The official cause has not been announced, but Russian media reports say one of the pilots may have accidentally activated the wheel brakes during takeoff. And now with your sports, here's Sarah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to sports. The Humber women's soccer team won against Sheridan College yesterday, taking their undefeated record to 7-0. The final score was 2-0 as the girls secured a first round bye in the OCAA playoffs. Stephanie Santos and Jamie Lynn Beggs were the goal scorers. The girls play their last game of the regular season in Niagara on the 19th. The Humber men's rugby team is no longer undefeated. The boys lost yesterday to Seneca College, who remain unbeaten. The final score was 29-15. The Hawks play their final game of the regular season on the 22nd against Mohawk College. In the NHL, Sidney Crosby has been cleared for full contact. The hockey phenom hasn't played since suffering a concussion from two hits last January. His official NHL return has not yet been determined. The New Jersey Devils beat the Los Angeles Kings 2-1 in a shootout last night. Backup goalie Jonah Hedberg performed well after Martin Brodeur suffered an upper body injury. The New York Islanders clobbered the Tampa Bay Lightning 5-1 with two goals and a pair of assists from local talent John Tavares. The Pittsburgh Penguins beat the Washington Capitals 3-2 in overtime. The Pens outshot the Capitals 41-19, but goaltender Thomas Vukun kept the game close. The Calgary Flames whipped the Montreal Canadiens 4-1 in a record-setting game for Flames goaltender Mika Kiprasov. Last night marked his 263rd win, the most ever by a Calgary goalie. The Colorado Avalanche destroyed the Ottawa Senators 7-1 last night. The Sens scored first, but the Avs followed up with seven unanswered goals against former teammate Craig Anderson. The Detroit Red Wings shut out the Vancouver Canucks 2-0. Jimmy Howard, who stopped 25 shots, was credited with the win against the Canucks, who came out strong. It was his sixth career shutout. The Phoenix Coyotes won 5-2 against the Nashville Predators. The Preds had won their first two on the road, but couldn't keep it up for their sold-out home opener. The Minnesota Wild beat the Edmonton Oilers 2-1 in a shootout. The win was a relief for Wild goaltender Nicholas Backstrom, who lost in a shootout to the Sens earlier this week. The Winnipeg Jets put up a good fight against the Chicago Blackhawks, but lost 4-3. And the Dallas Stars got their third win of the season against the St. Louis Blues. The final score was 3-2. And in MLB playoff action, the Texas Rangers failed to take the series last night in Detroit. The Tigers won with a score of 7-5. Despite their loss, the Rangers' Nelson Cruz did set a record in a championship series, hitting a total of five home runs. They play again tomorrow at 8 p.m. The Milwaukee Brewers beat the Cardinals 4-2 after being down early in the game. They play again tonight at 8 p.m. 
And in international sports, the Pan American Games kicked off today in Guadalajara, Mexico. And that's it for sports. Let me take you back to the desk. Thanks, Sarah. After the break, we got the latest entertainment from Reem Jazar. Coming up in entertainment, LG Fashion Week, what movies are premiering today, and Indie Week hits Toronto. That's all coming up in your entertainment update. <laughs> 